a new TV show, a new series that is apparently coming to Netflix uh, called Blockbuster. Uh, and in this photo, first look at Melissa Ferrero, Fumero, and Randall Park in Netflix's upcoming comedy series, Blockbuster. Uh, I would imagine, I mean, there's a lot of workplace comedies that are out there. Uh, I worked at a Blockbuster many, many years ago as a second job. My first job being uh, at a movie theater, working at a movie theater. Uh, and I can tell you one thing, working at a Blockbuster and going in to rent movies at video stores in general is that nobody is this age. Like, even the managers of the stores were far younger than Randall Park and Melissa Fumero. Uh, so I'm already hesitant in the casting. Not, to, not that I don't like these actors. I think Randall Park's hilarious. Uh, I'm not 100% familiar with Melissa's work, but I'm sure she's great. However, uh, blockbusters and video stores in general uh, are mostly employed by like teenagers similarly to like movie theaters there's like an age gap like even managers of movie theaters are generally a lot of the times generally in like their 20s you know maybe their 30s and then it jumps up way high at the movie theater to where you get a really old guy and they usually are taking tickets or working in the box office um but yeah i mean i working at a video store there wasn't a lot it was most of the time it's dead but I, there's definitely i guess i mean regulars sure you're gonna have regulars at any business i don't know i'm it's interesting it's interesting that one netflix is producing a comedy series about blockbuster considering netflix basically destroyed blockbuster uh it, it's uh there's a documentary called the last blockbuster that kind of talked about the demise of blockbuster as well as video rental stores in general and uh netflix is definitely the reason one of the reasons why uh it was also these companies inability to adapt fast enough or their unwillingness to adapt to uh renting movies via mail uh, and also uh, the late fee situation. I don't know. I would definitely, I'm definitely going to watch the show because it's just to see, just to see what it's like, you know? I mean, and it's going to be a period piece TV show. Like, it's probably going to be set in the 90s, I would assume, back when movie rentals were still a thing. I'd actually be very interested to see when this show is supposed to take place because i worked at blockbuster from for like a year or two around the year 2000 2001 ish and that was when it was still mostly i want to say it was still mostly vhs tapes and then dvd was pretty new but most everything was vhs um but yeah, I'm, 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 uh, it's interesting. It's, it's so weird to like see TV shows being made of like, like, n like workplaces that are like known, right? Like the superstore show isn't like Walmart. It is a Walmart like type of a place. This is like Blockbuster, which at this point, I don't think Blockbuster exists only as a name now. Um, so it's, it's, it's kind of how, like, Polaroid just became just the name Polaroid. They didn't really make for a long time. They were making, like, TVs and stuff. So, I don't know. Interested. I'm interested, but I don't know, man. There's a lot of, like, it'll be interesting to see if they do it like a the doc style, like, like Parks and Rec or The Office, which I'm fine with that style. There's another show on Hulu that I recently saw part of the first episode. It has uh, Sean William Scott. 
set in like some small town in Ohio and it's about a small town in Ohio, uh, which I enjoy that style, but it still has to be good. Like, like that show, like, let's just say I didn't finish the first episode of that show because it, I don't know. There was nothing about it. Not, although that's how, what happened when I tried to watch Parks and Rec for the first time, the first episode of Parks and Rec didn't really, you know, didn't really entice me to watch anymore. And it was years and years and years before I actually went back and rewatched and got hooked on Parks and Rec. So it'll be interesting to see if they do it the doc style. I would assume it seems to be kind of the standard way to do it. Uh, but it, maybe it'll do something else. I mean, even like doc style, but not like th- from a premise of a doc, like doc style, like Parks and Rec, not doc style like The Office, where The Office eventually, you know, kind of showed the documentary and like kind of brought in the documentary crew, which was kind of the downfall around the downfall of that show anyway. Uh, but yeah, Blockbuster. It'll be interesting to see. I'm not not hopeful that it'll be great but i'm interested to see where it goes new episodes of the ray taylor show come out every single day subscribe on youtube and everywhere our podcasts are found binge the full week over at inspired disorder.com slash plus buy ray taylor show merch over at inspired disorder.com and follow the show on instagram at ray taylor show have a wonderful day everybody peace out today is the day where you wake up and you realize that everything that you've been dreaming about everything that you've been wanting every goal and wish and hope that you've ever had can become real dreams can come true what you manifest in your mind you can bring to reality